guys you're all welcome to my channel today if this is your first time of ever tuning in i'm so glad to have you my name is shizoba and i'm a medical student in ukraine and if you already subscribed to my channel thank you so much for always supporting coming back and watching my videos you guys are the best so guys in today's video is how wasting much of your time i'm going to be showing you how i achieve my twist out on my 4c twa <laughs> natural hair without uh nothing but just my sheer button mixture and i did a video i filmed a video of how i did this i'm going to put a link to that video in the description box below so in the description box below so guys without further ado let's jump right into this so guys i'm just coming out of the shower i've washed my hair and i put a little bit of the shea butter mixture and castor on the hair so all i'm doing for this i'm using my hand to just section out hair then um using my comb is really a very wide tooth comb i'm combing through for the first time taking my shea butter mixture just tiny applying running it through I comb it a little bit again and I twist guys i'm going to go off camera and complete the whole hair and i will show you the final result so stay tuned done this is what we have <laughs> it's nothing fancy at all i just you know did everything the way i was supposed to do it and i tried to do twist this front part the crown part towards my face because i want the twist to fall towards my face so i'm really very tired <laughs> i'll see you guys in the guys so this is the next morning <laughs> my hair is dry not yeah dried but still very oily and yeah i've got my makeup on so i'm going to go ahead and take it off i'm not going to be applying uh any oil on my hand to do this to avoid freeze that's the essence of applying the oil but pff, i'm not going to apply it because my hair is still very oily so i'm just gonna go ahead and take it down let's take down this one in front so you can see Ooh. <laughs> this did a great job now you see <laughs> oh my god <laughs> i think this did a really good job Wow. I'm done separating everything, like on twisting it. Now I'm going to go ahead and separate them. I learned something from Cheesy Doo that when you're separating your twist, she's a YouTuber by the way, Cheesy Doo. <laughs> and when you're separating your twist, you should just separate it just to the tips and don't. Oh, I have to edit that. Like, don't separate it and all the way. Just separate it and all the way to the tips, leave it. Separate. Oh, I didn't want to twist this. Okay. Let me show you guys. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. I separate. I'm 
not separating it all the way to the end and she said that this is going to help the twist to last longer which is very true so that's what i'm going to go ahead and do all throughout my hair i'm done separating it to the to the taste that i want it to be I would say that if you want more volume, you could go in, separate more, and you know, try to get it to be bigger. But me, I have plans to carry this hair for the next two weeks, so <laughs> I don't want to scatter everything today. So I just separated it to a next thing that I'm satisfied with. Uh, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go in with my usually they use a pick, I don't have a pick, so I'm gonna be using this afro comb to lift the hair from the root just to get more volume. I want you to also notice, I'm not gonna lift from the front, no. I'm, I'm just gonna keep uh, lifting from the back. Don't lift the hair from the front, cause if you do that, uh, how do I wanna put it? The hair, the front part of my hair, I didn't really twist it tight. So if I lift, put a comb through the front, it's gonna, drag off everything and then you're gonna have uh what's it called freezes and all that in the hair so i'm not gonna do that i'm going to keep lifting from the back our main aim is to cover up all the lines that we made in the hair which I didn't really make because I was using my hand to part the hair so it's not even a problem in my case but that's the aim to cover up the line and secondly to get more volume so that's why we are lifting once i've gotten it to the shape and the volume i want it to be which is this i'm going to go ahead with my brush to brush and just you know, touch up my edges not like it's very important but i'm going to be touching it up just a little bit and if you like you can use gel and do whatever you want to do with your edges but for me for today for the first day this is how i'm gonna be rocking this hair so <laughs> this is the final resort <laughs> guys you guys you can see the definition like <laughs> it's so the way i want it and again one thing i love about this is that uh although my hands my hair is very oily this is one thing that okay let me start from things that i don't like the things that i don't like about using this uh just the sheer butter mix is that my hands are very oily my hair is super oily my bed shirt is uh even the oil was sipping through my satin bonnet and everything i messed up my bed shirt during the night and but the thing that i like is that my hair is super soft super moisturized and with the weather that we have right now in ukraine it's like in between it has not decided if it's gonna be summer or it's still gonna remain spring so i wouldn't do this kind of hairstyle or leave out my hair and uh, spring when the weather is still cold but because the weather in ukraine right now is thinking i don't know maybe it wants to be summer so that's why i did it and uh another thing is that the sheer butter mix is going to help me to protect my hair just in case the weather becomes cold any day or yeah or even if the humidity of the weather drops I'm still very much covered. My hair is very moisturized. It's very soft. It's not crunchy like using gel and all that and having issues. My hair is very moisturized and I'm so glad about that. So I think I think that's the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you learned something from this. And I really, really hope you're gonna be trying it out. And if you do, don't forget to tag me anywhere on social media. And once again, if you're not yet subscribed to my channel, please do click that subscribe button and join my YouTube family. You're welcome. <laughs> And guys, so that will be all for this video. Thank you so much. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Write down in the comment section below what you think I did right or something 
you can make an observation what you think didn't go right or something i should have done please let me know in the comment section down below and don't forget the uh the share button mix that i did i have a video of it i'm gonna leave the link of that video in the description box below and yeah that will be all thank you guys my other videos i will leave it here for you guys to watch enjoy and see you on the next one bye guys